going on YouTube it is just my opinion and I am back here today to give you a review of my boy my cousin Jack Harlow confetti just kidding he's not actually my cousin but we do actually share the same last name gotta represent for the Harlows out there he is a SoundCloud rapper from Louisville who is only 21 years old has been rapping since he was 14 he got uh, discovered by DJ drama famous Atlanta producer and DJ which he moved out to Atlanta started making his own music and has slowly but steadily through the years been gaining some traction his first project gazebo uh, had kind of a moody nocturnal type vibe to it with loose uh, kind of expanding on that sound and style but he's still been trying to find his identity but on this album I feel like he's starting to come into his own a little bit with the sound and style take for instance the opener ghost standout track on this i love this it's a nice quick hard ass intro bass is just straight and nasty on this love the gangsta girls tag in the beginning of the song as well lets you know dj drama's putting him on and the dude is just straight flowing i mean for someone who's white from louisville he has that weird crust stash and curly hair weird looking dude Dude has swag and he knows it and I love when he shows it. It just sounds like he's having fun in the booth while he's recording these songs. You then get Rotten, which is another hard slapping track. Has a nice catchy hook to it. He's again flowing nicely. Uh, he's got some punchlines. Some of them are good. Some of them are kind of questionable. He threw out there the uh, Georgia Peach, uh, call me Bowser line in the hook of the song referencing Oddish, the Pokemon, which there are way much cooler Pokemon that you could reference, my dude. Oddish is just like this little fucking like plant thing. It's gonna reference Gyarados. Gyarados is sweet, uh, or Snorlax, or Charizard. We then get Ice, which is originally gonna be called Dentine, but I guess there was some sort of copywriting issue where they couldn't get that cleared, so he just called it Ice. Another nice, catchy track, fun track. A little bit smoother and more melodic overall. He's doing a little bit more of the sing rapping. Uh, especially on the hook of this one, another catchy hook. Kind of has a similar sound to it, to some of his older songs and older projects, but while still fitting in, still has the same kind of tempo and bounce to it as the previous two songs did. Then gets Sunday Night, another great song from this album. It has a nice spacey vibe to it as far as the production goes. Uh, still slaps though. He's sing rapping again on the hook. Uh, which I like a lot and using a little bit more melody as far as song topically wise kind of just talking about sending this girl the you up text uh, on a Sunday night kind of getting his Drake on which he has said is one of his favorite rappers artists of all time period loses some points saying that Scorpion is Drake's best project which is completely fucking dumb uh, sorry my cousin you're wrong Take Care is his best project. I will challenge anybody on that. Then get Warsaw, which is another standout track of mine on here. Kind of has the nice, moody, low-key vibes, kind of nocturnal vibes that a couple of his previous projects had, but still with the new kind of bounce that uh, he's going for throughout this entire project. Another dope chorus, catchy chorus. Features two for one on this one, which his uh, singing and rapping didn't really impress me that much, but production is fire he's the main producer for a majority of jack harlow's uh songs on his projects so he gets a pass keep producing that fire then get big chillin another straight up bop on this one production is nice uh has simple organs that could kind of sound tacky but still fit nicely with the with the overall beat and the percussions on this one had some nice little sounds in it hook is just straight up fire I already finished, but the dick's still in. Ass fat, she don't get feelings. Wheezy F baby, I don't hit ceiling. Which is actually cool too, because he has also gone on record as saying his Lil Wayne being one of his uh, bigger inspirations as well. Nice shout out to him on the track. We then get Going Back Down, which was another good song on here. Uh, again, more nice bounce to it. Another slap song. Catchy chorus on it. Does a good job as far as hooks throughout the entire project. 
This is where the project though kind of started to get samey for me. So I wanted a little bit of change of pace. So then we get through the night, which is a standout of mine. Definite change of pace on here. This is the song where I actually discovered Jack Harlow from. Saw it on like a recommended section on, on YouTube. Jack Harlow, guy's got my last name. Also has Bryson Tiller featured on it, another Louisville native. Never really understood the hype around Bryson Tiller. I like him. I don't love him, though. I've uh, been meaning to do a review of Trap Soul. But figured might as well give it a shot. And boy, was I so impressed and caught off guard with that Usher sample in the fucking beat. One of my favorite songs, one of my favorite R&B songs period love the sample absolutely loved it and they both killed it on this one as well i thought uh they both flowed nicely had great chemistry together absolutely dope song you then get a walk in the park which is another slower wavy song has some nice cold synths in there in which jack harlow is just straight up flowing on this one Again, nice catchy hook. He just knows how to blend in well with the production and fit in well with the production which he's rapping over, which I think he picks great production for his specific sound and style. We then get Rain, which is another nice wavy track, but this one's a little bit moodier and denser than some of the other songs that we've gotten on here. He's talking a lot about his struggles and trying times, a lot of type of stuff, which could be a little bit surface level. That's the one thing about him, which is which I wish I heard a little bit more of his story and kind of what he goes through on less of a surface level but uh, one telling thing that he does mention in the song is about not being able to see his dad what's all the success if he can't even see his dad and share the success with his dad which is a, a nice telling part of the album which we didn't really get up until this point you then get heavy hitter though which is my favorite song on this by far Easily one of my favorite songs that I've heard all year. Almost definitely going to make my year-end list for 2019 favorite songs. Just a straight-up fun track. Uh, beat is dope as hell. Nice wavy vibes. Love the washed-out uh, vocal samples in there. The smooth analog bass kind of gives that ATL meets Cali vibe. Bass is so hard, and he's just straight up swagging on this one. Love what he's mixing in the, the melodies with the rapping. Sounds absolutely dope. Just a straight up fun track. One of the most fun tracks I've heard all year. And the album closes with River Road, which is another standout on here for the album for me. It has a uh, smoother, jazzier type sound to it as far as the uh, instrumental goes. Uh, nice change of pace on the album. Nice way to close the album. And this one's a little bit more introspective than what we've heard throughout the majority of the album. It gives you kind of a, a sense of who he is and kind of his story, his, his come up. Talks about how he still stares up at the ceiling at night thinking that uh, some of his past projects would have blown up. And that this would be the year that he blows up and, and uh, you know, just keeps thinking why isn't he blowing up yet. Uh, talks about moving to Atlanta, trying substances now, and, 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 you know, trying more drugs and alcohol. He's seeing all these people on the TV and now meeting some of his idols. Just giving a little bit more sense of who he is. And you know me, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Has a nice saxophone solo to close it out. Love me some saxophone. So, in conclusion, although Jack Harlow is nothing new or nothing groundbreaking, dude still got swag. He's got flow, can actually rap, showing growth as far as songwriting and his ear for melodies. And although he's still kind of coming into his own as far as the sound and style, I think this album in particular, he kind of found his pocket and found his lane as far as his sound and style goes. And overall, this is just fun music. Uh, it's infectious fun uh, music which is what this is designed for it's designed to just be dope fun party music overall I give this album a 7.5 remember this is just my opinion and thank you for watching YouTube